Hey, Matt Cove here. So just a little tip I want to give you guys, anybody out there that has a pressure washer. I just want to let you know that it's super important that you clean or take care with your uh, pump oil, which goes in there. And that uh, it might be worthwhile to take apart this unit after a few years as a maintenance measure. This pump came to me from a friend of mine um, who basically, I used to change the oil for him on his motor. I never really did anything with this. Uh, it wasn't my unit. So just some favors I, I was doing for him. Anyway, this thing finally stopped. I had warned him. I said, fill up your oil once in a while. Um, wasn't really going to do a lot of hand holding, but I, uh, I got this from him because the pump ended up basically dying. And uh, after we got him a new pump, put the new pump on, I thought, hey, I should just take the, this apart, take a look inside and see what's going on and uh, see, hey, could we rebuild it? What's the situation? So I'm going to open this up for you because I think you're going to find it pretty interesting what's inside. I have taken a couple of parts out, but you're going to get an idea of what it looks like inside when you don't clean these out after a few years. So let's take a peek. So I already took the bolts out. That was fun in itself. There's what's left of some of the bearings. I'm, it's actually missing a ball bearing. Not too sure where that went. This has been sitting down in my workshop for a bit. So I already drained the oil and a few other things. Um, there's the other bottom part of the race of the bearing. Um, I wanted to see if I could replace the one inside because as you can see, it's pretty gunky in there. And the other um, ball bearings are really, really messy. You can't, it doesn't even do it justice. I don't even know if I can, it's pretty, pretty gunked up. Anyway, here's the inside, of some of the other valves. And this thing is just a mess. Okay. It's, I can't even begin to describe how gunky this was. Okay, all that in there is just all, all kinds of material um, that just basically caused this pump to pack it in. So I just want to let you guys know, I took it apart here, the other portion of the pump. It didn't look too bad. This probably could have been salvaged, but um, it went a little bit too long without just some just some maintenance. Uh, there, there's some of the pieces right there coming out, um, as you can see. So I thought I could maybe rebuild this thing, but unfortunately, I think it's uh, seen better days. Not even sure where I could get the parts, but I just wanted to show you guys what, you know, if you just do a little bit of maintenance, if you were to take this apart, um, clean it, make sure that there's no... Um, the oil gets pretty gunky water obviously got in here because we got some rust, rust up inside right in here. Okay. Um, stuff will last quite a while if you just do a little bit of TLC. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. I mean, pressure washers, you know, not that expensive. Some of the electric ones, this was happened to be a gas. So they get a little more pricey, you know, three, four hundred dollar range. So not something you want to go and uh, be buying every year. But again, you got to make sure your oil is topped up. You don't want to go too high, too high on it. OK, because um, that can cause a problem. But if water gets in there or maybe you left the cap off or something, you want to make sure you get that that oil out, get that water out put some new oil back in it and uh, then that thing's going to last you a long time. I've got a couple other ones in my shop. Uh, I got one on Kijiji and fixed it up and it's still working. Um, didn't have to rebuild the pump, but I did replace the oil. Anyway, just a little food for thought from Mac Cove. And uh, that is, that's what you got inside a pressure washer pump that was not looked after. Okay. See you later. Bye.